In this lecture, we are going to discuss about traceability. This is going to be the last topic of this session. Here, we will explain the value of maintaining traceability between the test basis and test work product, and it is marked as K2. Let's first understand the concept of traceability. It starts with test basis. From test basis, we derive test condition. Then, we develop test cases for each test condition. After that, we develop test script based on test cases. And finally, we get result. Now let's see how traceability is established between test basis and test work product. First, the traceability is maintained between test basis and test condition. Now, we have two test cases for these test conditions, so each of these test conditions need to be traced to test cases. Test condition 1 is traced with test case 1. Now test case 1 shall be traced with test script 1. And finally, test script is traced with result. Now, if customer wants to know how we tested test condition 1, we can show them using this traceability. Similarly, for test condition 2, we have to establish traceability. By now, we know what is traceability. Now, let's understand why traceability is required. First point is to implement effective test monitoring and control process. Second point is to revent to test planning based on the feedback. Third point is to communicate to stakeholder. Now let's see the importance of traceability. First point is analyzing the impact of change. To understand this, suppose there is a change in the requirement. Then due to traceability, we will come to know which all work products are affected and for the base, we will update them. Second point is making testing auditable. Now, since every item is linked, it is easy while auditing the project. Point number three is meeting IT governance criteria. Fourth point is improving the understandability of test progress reports and test summary reports to include the status of elements of the test basis. For example, requirements that pass their tests requirements that failed their tests, and requirements that have pending tests. This point is self-explanatory. Fifth point is relating the technical aspects of testing to stakeholders in terms that they can understand. Since we provide the traceability, now we can generate different types of matrix and provide it to stakeholders. Last point is providing information to assess product quality process capability, and project progress against business goals. Since we have different matrices, we can assess product quality and its process.